For Us by Us is what FUBU stands for. More than a decade ago, my next guest created that now famous casual sports and business clothing brand, accessories as well. So if the hip hop crowd was his latest or last target audience, this time around, it's all about professionals. Celebrity entrepreneur, we can call him that, Damon John, here with me now. So, Damon, wonderful thanks to see you. Me. Thank you. And thanks for coming in, especially after you got impaled by a Statue of Liberty. Well, we'll talk about that shark <laughs> episode uh -huh. in just a minute but first of all you brought in all these cool props how did you go from being a lifestyle brand creator yeah. to making stuff for for geeks and working people well you know I think that it's just uh, me growing up and um, the fact that for us by us I was making clothes for kids who loved hip-hop by kids who loved hip-hop and now because all of us are why you're saying you're no longer a kid What's I'm no longer a here? kid and you know what <laughs> they say that 97 percent of the rest of our lives we will know we will not be any further than three feet away from these digital leashes. But on the good side, you know, 10 that years ago. That makes me kind of nervous, I have to say. Well, don't be nervous because I'm, I'm here for you, right? All right, so, good. Let's uh, see you know, what have. as moguls, we all believe that we are running our business. Even a mom is a startup of the house. And years ago, I had to stay the at CEO. home. The uh, CEO. Exactly. Sorry. <laughs> mom is the CEO of the house. And years ago, I'd have to stay in the office, chained to the phone. Now, we are on the road. We're, we're active and I have a product line. It's for us bias, but it's the for us bias of business people who are, you know, they're enjoying life, but you know what? They're communicating through these devices. And so you have some screen savers, yep. you have some battery packs, you have some, some charging cases. Yeah. I, I mean, is the idea here that we're all basically connected, as you say, so people better like these objects? Because they're going to be in their lives anyway, so they better feel some sort of brand association power? Well, first of all, they're going to understand the brand because we're going to come out with some groundbreaking things. We have about eight SKUs now. Some are simple because, you know, some a beautiful anchor like you would need a mirror that goes onto your no phone so you can check yourself salesman. right we have the magnetic keyboard so now this is magnet but it's also Bluetooth and it's a keyboard so now you know if I'm on the plane I can put the the, the phone up here and type from here and then we have a locator where you can uh, basically call in a number and somebody will pick up your phone a carrier will pick up your phone if you lose it and deliver it to you any place in the world so Damon I mean first of all you created this business FUBU which I just referenced you know 15 years ago this was amazing a yeah. hundred thousand dollars I read against the mortgage property of your own house. You launched a business. You've been giving advice on Shark Tank for more than a few seasons that yeah. entrepreneurs have really found valuable. What made you, with your first experiences and then your mentoring experiences, decide, okay, this is my path right this second? Well, because first of all, I was a user and I always am uh, surrounded by technology and it's just a hotbed. All the inventors and the people that pitch. I would say at least 10% of them are talking about in this space. And then also the thing, is, the thing that we like to do is we have a $5 million fund that is earmarked so that we can also partner and acquire other people who have ideas that would normally not be able to bring it to market. So, again, so it's also about a whole ecosystem that's is what it. you're saying. It's a whole ecosystem. And you know what? This stuff moves pretty quickly, uh, you know, when you start talking about it and you like it. All right. Tell me about the most surprising and fun thing about being featured in the Sharknado 2. Oh, Sharknado 2. You know what? I, I showed up there and they said that I was going to be eaten by a shark. I, I saw it for Which the first time. Which you signed time. up for, apparently. Yes, of course. <laughs> I saw it for the first time last night. And who was I at Sharknado? I was the greedy venture capitalist that had to go back for my cash. Nice, and it didn't matter. Nice. I had to go back for the cash. But the Statue of Liberty, of course. I'm waiting for your, your cameo here. Yeah, the Statue of Liberty, her head flew off and basically killed me. But. All right, we're going to wait. We're going to wait for your untimely death, my friend. But at least I was special. I was the only one not killed by a shark. All right, why well, that? Yeah, exactly. You're like, at least I was killed by the Statue of Liberty. There's exactly. a sound bite if there ever was one. Oh, you wrote the forward to this book, which actually the title cracks me up How to Ruin a Business Without Really Trying. Yes. This was a whole compilation, and it was meant to be a reach out piece, right? Yes. To other founders and entrepreneurs and saying, okay, listen, here are sort of the mistakes I either made the hard way or people I know and I'm close to made the hard way, so don't do them. Correct. And, you know, the, the book is great. There's a friend of mine named MJ, Michael Gottlieb. Um, and you know what? It's about, it's about the small things that eat you in your business. It's about you thinking that you're supposed to be this type of entrepreneur because you're going to have that. But you know what? If you leave that, that cabinet unlocked with all the pens, the pencils, and the papers, guess what? That's going to cost you about $2,000 a year. If you have that car service, people are going to keep running up the bill. You have to look over everything. And slowly but surely, it will eat your profits. And that will kill you in the beginning stages and even when you're 
flourishing. All right, so better to be a little bit lean and mean at the beginning. Business is business is about the bottom line, and I hate to quote, uh, you know, Mr. Wonderful, but it's all about the money. All right, there you go. We'll leave it on that. Damon John, thanks so much for coming in, Thank bringing you. us some cool gadgets. Nice to see you. Damon John with us there, Moguls Mobile.